All right, continuing on. Um, after we've made our mirrors and uh, edited our use uh, files in the make config file, uh, we have to ch root into our Gen2 environment. Uh, before we do that, we have to copy the resolve the name servers that we used uh, over to that. So it's a uh, command is cp dash capital L and it's slash etc slash resolve <coughs> without the uh, e and then dot c o n f and then the full path mnt slash gen two and then that etc and then same file copy it there now we have to mount a couple of more uh, directories and these commands are a little strange <laughs> uh, mount uh, dash t proc p r o c none the word none and then the mnt gen2 and then that proc directory and the next two are similar mount dash dash two dashes r bind r b i n d uh, slash sys s y s slash m n t gen oop that's a slash gen two one g uh, s y s finally mount dash dash r bind dash d e v dash m n t slash gen two and d e v all right so if i haven't forgotten anything we should be able to ch root so ch root a uh, shortcut i found on the form was uh, a space a dot and a slash bin and another slash bash there we go now we can see that it's changed from live cd gen 2 to live cd slash and we have to update the environment and that's env dash update i'll do this one line at a time and then it's uh update the profile and that's by source the profile from to uh, etc slash to profile profile and uh, just if you want uh, you can this is optional export ps1 I um, what that is that uh, prompt script or prompt system something like that PS and there's different ones like PS2 4 etc nothing to do with PlayStation so CH uh, PS1 equals and then quote bracket ch root and then that bracket and then a dollar sign again ps1 dollar sign and now it says ch root live cd all right um so this is uh one of the uses actually a major use of using portage is a command called emerge uh that's just how we get our programs or packages and uh uh, they get compiled um, on the fly. So emerge first of all, and we want to sync with the uh, mirror list that we have as well. So we'll go out and uh, sync it up with the rest of the world to what we have. Okay, and at the bottom, uh, it says e-select. That's the next uh, step is, is using e-select. All right, so we have to s uh, set up a profile for what we want to use Gen2 for. And profile like uh, if you want to use GNOME or whatever GNOME or KDE or XFCE or just generic, etc. So they give you a list of some basic ones, and uh, we use E select again, E select, and this time we want profile, and we want to list that. Okay, so there's 14. Um, ones that are listed by default and i'm going to use gnome which is uh, number four and by the way this is gnome 2 
by default, so like as far as I know, so far in Arch Linux, I mean, sorry, in Gentoo. So it's not uh, GNOME Shell 3, it's just uh, GNOME 2 version, which, but you can upgrade to GNOME 3 if you wish. So to set that profile, we just do a profile, I'm sorry, E select profile set and then the number in this case if you want to use KDE use 5 but I'm going to use 4 for GNOME. Okay and then uh, E select list again and it should be highlighted with the star beside GNOME as you can see here. Zoom in a bit. Okay. So after that's uh, you selected whatever you want, um, we have to go back to the make config file that we had. So um, we just uh, use nano and dash etc slash portage and the make conf file make config and you can list it out anywhere pretty much uh, use capital all capital letters equals and gnome gnome sort of stuff gnome of course uh, gtk and then there's dbus we're going to use x our zorg server for our graphics um, pulse audio of course also um, open GL for uh, acceleration in our virtual box and uh, uh, DVD I guess it's optional and to not include something it's dash KDE uh, the hand the book uh, says to also uh, not include QT or QT4 uh, but things like uh, uh, what's that Pro um, VLC player need QT, so I'm not gonna uh, put that in the line. So I'm gonna just leave it as it is. Actually, it might be an idea, better idea even just to add it QT. But I'm just gonna leave it as it is, and then uh, save exit. Okay, so uh, let's move on to, uh, we're getting close to uh, um, installing our kernel. And uh, just before doing that, uh, we have to set up our time zone. And if you want to get a list of that, it's uh, ls slash usr share uh, zone info. And you can see there's a list of countries. So I'll just uh, type out my area. So it's cp dash usr again share zone and then uh, wherever you are and that goes to etc um, slash local time now we can echo that to our zone, uh, time zone. So it's uh, ECH, oh, echo, sorry, <laughs> uh, America, for example, and then your city out to ETC slash zone, I mean, slash time zone. And you type in the word date. And... Yep. Yep. Okay. So if it looks good. You can move on. Okay. So it's uh, a moment of, moment of truth uh, situation here. <laughs> uh, we have to emerge uh, Gen 2 dash sources. And if uh, we did something wrong uh, with the portage. Uh, tree or something uh, will get an error so just cross your fingers and press enter and this will take a little bit of time to download and start compiling all right so everything went uh, fine 
I'll clear the screen here. And uh, now, specifically for VirtualBox, uh, we'll just do a gen kernel all install. Uh, if you're doing this on a regular, on your main machine or whatever, a real computer, uh, you might want to do a manual install. Look that up in the, the Gen 2 handbook to do that. So uh, just to emerge, GEN kernel, Gen kernel, one word, and press enter, and, and we'll give that a little bit of time as well. Download. Once that's uh, downloaded, uh, we just issue a command gen kernel space all and give it uh, 10, 15, 20, or whatever minutes to compile. And uh, it should be good to go to move on to the next uh, steps. So gen kernel and then the word all. And if it looks like it's uh, hanging, it, don't worry about it. Uh, it takes a little while before it starts showing them output. So it's uh, finished. Uh, it took about 12 minutes or so, I believe. And uh, everything seems to be okay. Uh, you'll see warnings and stuff all over the place. Uh, not to worry too much. Uh, this is only a virtual machine in any case. Um, so now that things have changed, uh, we have to do our environment update again. And we'll do the uh, two thing here. Uh, env dash update and then two ands um, pro, uh, source and a space dash etc slash profile oh boy enter and we lost our ch root but no problem we'll just do our export ps1 equals uh, quote bracket ch root close bracket close bracket space dollar sign ps1 and end the quote enter now we have our ch root the indicator back okay so up next uh, is uh, updating our file system table and specifying uh, some networking variables and then uh, on to configuring grub